Got a food allergy or an intolerance? Listen to this. The FDA is temporarily allowing packaged food manufacturers to substitute ingredients without changing the labels. And that means you might not know what exactly is in that product. And this could spell big trouble if you're allergic to one of the substitute ingredients. Consumer Reports explains why this is happening and how you can make safer choices so you don't waste your money. At two months old, Christina Nolan's son, Michael, was diagnosed with a milk soy protein intolerance. He would be vomiting or there would be diarrhea. He would have a rash, like a horrible rash on his face. Michael is now six years old and Christina continues to pay close attention to the ingredient and nutrition labels on the food she buys. But what happens if those labels are not accurate? That is huge. Um, that could cause so many problems. That scenario is now a potential reality. In order to avoid food supply chain disruptions due to the pandemic, the FDA announced in May that it has temporarily relaxed food labeling guidelines. And this will allow certain ingredients to be substituted, but the label stays the same. Well, there's real confusion about this temporary policy. Right after the announcement, parents and individuals and many consumer advocacy groups launched a petition and sent letters and posted comments to the FDA demanding more transparency about the food labels. The FDA states that none of the ingredients being substituted into a food can be one of the top eight food allergens without disclosing it to consumers. But beyond those eight, the guidance is more vague. For other foods that are known to cause allergies, the FDA says says that manufacturers should avoid using them as substitutes, but saying should leaves it up to the manufacturer to decide what's safe to substitute. And there are many people with allergies or sensitivities to rare ingredients that the manufacturers might not know to consider. Christina says the relaxed guidelines unnecessarily put people like her son at an increased risk. They're definitely not putting the consumer first. If you or a family member has a food intolerance or an allergy and you're worried about eating something, call the manufacturer and confirm that everything on the label is accurate. Because the FDA has not set an end date for these temporary rules, Consumer Reports says consumers should be diligent about following up manufacturers in the coming months so that it doesn't become something more permanent. And it's also worth noting that no companies have utilized this temporary policy.